Hey, welcome to the 99 person survey on ulcerative colitis joint pains. We had a whole bunch of responses from people from 13 different countries for the colitis joint pains survey. And basically, I'm going to try to read through what the whole thing was about for people who want to hear about it to the video. Anyway, the colitis uh, joint pain survey data is complete. And you can read all about it below. The survey was a total of eight questions, and it had the biggest turnout to date with 100 people responding. Because one of the respondents answered no to question number one, I removed that person's response and the rest of the data that person entered. So it's going to be 99 people who responded yes to they have UC and they have joint pains. So on behalf of everybody who finds the data valuable and helpful, I want to thank all of the participants from 13 different countries who completed the survey. These participants kindly donated over 18 hours of their time filling out answers to the following questions. First question was, confirm that you're diagnosed with UC and that you have experienced joint pains. Second question is, did your joint pain start before or after your UC diagnosis? Next. How will you describe your joint pains to someone who has never experienced joint pains before? Do you think your joint pains are related to your UC? Have you talked with a doctor about your joint pains? What have you been doing to treat your joint pains? Question seven, when at its worst, how painful is your joint pain? Number eight, if you have any advice, thoughts, or poems you'd like to share about colitis joint pains, feel free. Feel free. So, first question, confirm that you're diagnosed with UC and that you've experienced joint pains. So 99 people wrote yes, one person like I told you about wrote no. And that person's answers were removed from all the data below. Question number two. Did your joint pains start before or after your ulcerative colitis diagnosis? 38% people answered before, 62% of the people answered after. Pretty interesting. About two-thirds of people had their joint pain started after the diagnosis. Question number three was, how would you describe your joint pains to someone who has never experienced joint pains before? One person wrote, I, be, I get pains in my right knee when lying in bed. The pains can be severe and keep me awake. Another person wrote, pain, mostly tenderness and mostly in my knees. Most noticeable when exercising and going up and down stairs. If I run on a treadmill, I have a difficult time stepping down off the treadmill. Another person wrote, an achy, heavy feeling. Someone else wrote, after sitting or kneeling for a short time, my knees, hips, back, and shoulders feel kind of like a rusty hinge. It hits me suddenly, without warning, from fingers to ankles. It can be a quick, sharp pain that lasts only a day to dull aching that will last a few days. I had it in both ankles. Basically, they swelled up overnight. Think of it as something in between a really bad sprain to a broken bone. I could hardly walk for weeks. I would literally cry if I had to get up and walk somewhere because the pain was unbearable. Another person wrote, a deep migraine type pain that can be isolated to a particular region or it can be spread across the whole back. Niggling at times. I like that word, niggling. Someone else wrote, some days like you want to curl up and die. It hurts to walk, to lay in bed and sit. Another person wrote, it feels like I had bumped my knee and was subsequently swollen or had done too much exercise and was suffering muscle strain. They vary. Sometimes they feel like a constant throbbing pain. Sometimes a constant dull ache. Feels like a stabbing pain going from your hip right down your leg. Someone describes the joint pain as, My knees felt like they had just been stabbed and I couldn't walk on them. Another person writes, A general feeling of weakness in my joints, particularly wrist, elbow, shoulder, knee, and ankle. A general feeling of discomfort, dull pain like growing pains and tendonitis. Someone else wrote, I have random instances. It's a burning sensation that happens in one or two of my body joints in my body at a time. It hurts to even barely flex the joint. It also migrates, meaning it will start and say my finger, then move to my elbow, then move to my knees. Someone else writes, very painful, where I would sometimes need a cane to walk. 
Someone else wrote, constant ache, that certain movements will induce a sharp pain right in the middle of the joint. Somebody else wrote, I feel the most pain in my hands usually. My fingers more or less freeze and curl up a bit. I cannot move them at all. It's a bit scary. And a serious pain runs up my arm also. The pain is like a sharp burning feeling. It ranges from a quick one minute pain to a lingering all day affair. I feel so sore after and before I know it, it starts again. My last major flare up was August, September 2011 and I still feel so sore and increase in joint pain since then. Another person writes, I would say it's painful as much as it's fragile or weak and I have the feeling that they are not as strong and healthy as they used to be and I feel like at times it goes by then they'll get worse. Someone wrote, very painful and affects more than one joint at a time. At the moment, my back, knees, hands, and elbows are very painful. Stop me doing daily tasks. I feel very achy all over and very tired and worn out. Stiff, sore. Someone wrote, unable to bend fingers, lower back pain so bad that I'm unable to bend the waist and pain and shoulders and elbows so severe that I'm unable to fall asleep. Someone writes, I ache, sometimes all over. Sometimes it is confined to my knees or shoulder. It makes it painful to walk up and down stairs or any normal activity. Someone writes, my knees have a cracking sound when I have to bend or kneel down. And the pain feels like I'm in extreme cold all the time. Climbing the stairs, there's intense pain also. Someone writes, hip and knee pain. Thought it was from getting older. Someone else wrote, I'm not actually sure if there are joint pains you're referring to, but what I do experience is a generalized aching, and it feels the worst in the part of my legs between the knee and the ankle. I can't quite tell if it's coming radiating pain from the knee or the ankle, but I can say that the back of my legs feel sore. Someone writes, it hurts to stand up after sitting, and my two pinky fingers have a top joint that's swollen and painful. Painful in my joints at random times. A throbbing pain where it hurts to cross your legs or bend your arms. Bad pain in my knees and lower back. Aches and I feel I have to climb, click my knees to feel comfortable. Hmm, some clicking going on. Sort of like growing pains, but also an all-over ache and pain, like I'm getting the flu. Feels like achy, inflamed, burning, limiting, and tender. Someone wrote, my hips and my knees were very sore, kind of very intense pain, sometimes similar to spasms. Someone wrote, terribly painful, like all tied up in knots. Just that they ache. No pain if I don't move, so it's really hard to get up in the morning. Like a pain from overexertion in the joints. My elbows were really stiff in the morning, especially. Also my knees and ankles, but I would say mild pain. My ankles swell up. Eventually, I'm, I'm unable to walk. This happens during a severe flare. Aching, sore, dot, 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 dot. Aching pain that throbs sometimes. Someone wrote, I have pain in both ankles. The best way to describe it to someone would be that they feel extremely stiff and brittle. Someone wrote, it immobilizes you. Everything I do is associated with some form of pain. Someone else wrote, at its worst, it was hard to stand up straight in the mornings till I got moving and I'd have to take steps two feet at a time. Still is bad if I sit for a long time, but it's getting better. Somebody else wrote, sore, painful, and causes stiffness and sometimes makes it hard to move. Someone wrote, hurts. Somebody else wrote, dull ache. Also, we have, start with a sharp pain in the area, and then after you experience it for a while, the muscles around the area tighten. You feel like you're 100 years old. You sit down and aren't sure you're going to be able to get back up. Arthritis. Waking up with ridiculous pain at 3 a.m. and then again at 5. It takes 20 minutes to put a shirt on. Have to resort to use one hand when the other is out of commission. Sometimes can't walk. Somebody else wrote, feet and ankle was almost debilitating. Gout-like. Stiffness through our body. Someone wrote, burning sensation. At first notice, could not put pressure on knee. When kneeling, very sensitive, spread to elbows, burning, and then became very painful. A few days ago, felt like someone was stabbing my ankle. Pain comes and goes, depending if I'm flaring. I almost have the pain either in my hip or strange cramping in my toes. I was told by my doctor to watch my potassium levels because that is what put me in the hospital when I found that I had UC. I also suffer from migraines now for 25 years, so the pain in my neck is sometimes tied in. Somebody else wrote, a general ache, like when you have the flu. I had a lot of heel pain when I got out of bed in the morning, hobbled to the bathroom. Walking and hiking are my favorite forms of exercise. But sometimes...
yo, if you want to read the rest of the survey results, here's the website address you got to go to. Later.